CrimeShadows.com examines the Zodiac Killer. The Zodiac committed several homicides in California during the 1960s and 1970s. The Zodiac sent ciphers and taunting letters to the police in area newspapers. He often signed his letters with a circle and cross symbol. The San Francisco Police Department officially closed the case in 2004. The Zodiac has never been caught. He must not die with an honorable name. He must be held accountable. We'll also examine the Crowder Point couple. The two bodies, a male and a female, were discovered in April of 1995. It is estimated that the victims were shot and killed on or around March 18th, three weeks prior to their discovery. After being shot, the victims were dragged about 40 feet into the woods and positioned next to each other, head to toe. There's a lot more information on our website. Between 1986 and 1989, at least eight people were murdered along a Virginia scenic route known as the Colonial Parkway. Two people are missing or presumed dead. The person responsible for these murders has never been caught. Authorities have speculated that the unidentified subject responsible for these killings may have been or remains in law enforcement, or is perhaps a rogue CIA operative from the farm at Camp Peary in York County. This killer must be brought to justice. This cannot happen if this case is forgotten. This site will present as much as we possibly can about what is known. Hopefully someone, somewhere, will have the courage to speak up about what they know. Someone has to know something, has to have seen something that will lead to a resolution in this case. A certain John Doe, going by the name of Joseph Newton Chandler III, committed suicide in 2002. It was found out later that he had assumed the identity of a young boy that was killed in an auto accident near Sherman, Texas. He wrote off for a social security number in September of 1978 and moved to the Cleveland area in 1979. He finally settled in East Lake, Ohio in 1986. We think we know the identity of this man. Another man with the same background is wanted by the ATF. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Without your participation, these cases might never be solved. We need people like you to post on our message boards, send emails, take a look at our blogs, send us any comments, questions, anything pertaining to these cases. Your help is greatly appreciated.